Hi there, and uh, welcome back to Ickham Road. I apologise; it's been quite a while since uh, since I filmed, but uh, unfortunately, my uh, my father passed away uh, a few weeks ago, and um, so I've been a bit busy um, dealing with that and uh, helping my mum. But uh, yes, anyway, back on to more uh, happier things, um, which is what he would want. Uh, the extension has been continuing, or the extension, the the growth of the track so since last time we've managed to put the with board in here um i've got the track laid i haven't got the corking down yet but um the track is all laid and uh already just tiny little section which i said last time that needs to be filled and, and fitted in through there but the uh, the the actual tunnel area is looking much better um i have sneaked in uh, a bit of a late Thing. You probably can't see it there, but there's a on the left hand track there is now a point which is going to um, run round and come out through here into what's going to be just below all the new track is going to be um, the engine shed and, uh, and the new shunting area. So, um, but as you can see, we've got the new section cut out. Um, it's going to be very difficult to do this, I'll try and find the best light to do it in. But as you can see we've cut a section out so that we can still see the track to work on below. Um, and for me to get the points in and any uh, any maintenance that needs to be done to the track. But we've got an area here which is uh, raised to link up with the next corner. Uh, which now is all connected up and all screwed down and all running full length all the way around just got to um, get the uh, track cut and joined up nicely uh, to make the most of it let's say we had a thought that uh, uh, that we could actually um, put an engine shed here and also perhaps have a line that runs around the back of the engine shed which comes along here to a couple of long sidings up by the uh, the up gradient uh, of the track so it's uh, been very slow obviously we've been very busy doing other things these last few weeks and not been able to get the uh, the um, various bits and pieces done but it's all been tested with the with the with the coaches and we know that they're not going to touch each other so it's still all the same as we go around to this side still got the little area um, in there and uh, in back into the station so it's all set up nicely for this um, and uh, and we just need it to uh, get it all screwed down get the corking down Jane's doing the next couple of days now things have started to uh, sort themselves out um, and then we'll have some trains running hopefully I say in the next couple of weeks hopefully before then but uh, You've got that there. I so say we said before about the steps coming down here to the road where the shops are, and the houses up here with some nice sort of Greenland around it, and some something over in the back. Uh, maybe some more houses or something distant, maybe even a, a slight hill in the to give it a bit of character. Um, but we'll work that out as we go along. It's a few ideas in my mind, um, and uh, yeah, so that's where we are at the moment with it. Um, if you uh, did like this video, it's only a very short video, um, no trains running at the moment, but um, I say there will be in the next uh, few weeks when it's all complete. Um, but yeah, if you did like this uh, video, please uh, subscribe in the bottom right hand corner, um, like and comment anything you think uh, I may have stupidly done wrong or is missing, then just uh, let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll try and make me think. Uh, I know if I've missed, missed it out or I might be able to explain to you why I haven't done it. Okay, thank you very much for, for watching and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, very soon.